Hey guys, this is Bumblebee85 coming at you again with another video review. This time I am doing the second figure in the set of Marvel Legends Avengers Age of Ultron Infinite Series Hulk from Hasbro. Uh, it's the Thanos build a figure wave. And um, my first video that I did was the Iron Man with the alternate head uh, with Tony Stark. So check that video out was up put up yesterday this video is of the Hulk and it's from the Avengers Age of Ultron movie so it's slightly different than the Avengers Hulk that we got a little while ago and I'll show them off in comparison uh, we get some we get an image of the Hulk here on the side it's the same on both sides uh, we get all these figures in this series to build Thanos you need only five of the six uh, Hellcat and Spider-Woman are a double with the piece that it comes with and it is the head of Thanos we get the Hulk here with his little write-up explosive rage bursts from Bruce Banner's veins and unleashes the Hulk this is the newest version of the Hulk that we get I'm going to bust him out of the package here and see what he's like. And here is Hulk out of the package. Hulk does come with uh, the second piece for the Build-A-Figure Thanos, which is Thanos' right arm. So this would be Thanos' right arm. And he goes into the pile build up over there and we'll be re reviewing the next few figures there I'm trying to get these out for Captain America Civil War just because we have a Captain America there and uh, there's another Captain America already out now so I'm trying to catch up here but anyway this is the Hulk figure overall it is a fairly nice looking Hulk we do have some differences compared to the Hulk from before. It's a full 360. Uh, the difference, some of the main differences are instead of shredded pants, Hulk actually has a pair of Avengers logoed pants on. So adjustable in size, some sort of technology prevents him from just wearing his pants and becoming naked after raging out and not having any pants. Uh, another big difference is this whole uh, midsection, including the upper chest here, seems to be molded differently. Um, it's all smooth as where the other Hulk was all textured and veiny, uh, kind of like the arms. Uh, it resembled more like the arms. The head is also a different sculpt. So, and uh, instead of two closed fists on the other one, his left hand was actually open. Let me just show him off here quickly so you can actually see the differences uh, yourself. There's the different heads. Where I don't completely hate, or actually I don't hate the first head here at all. It's got a nice uh, Hulk looking face with the elongated upper lip part there. It makes him look savagey. Um, as to where this Hulk definitely looks a little more like Mark Ruffalo from the movie. And it's a bigger head. Uh, the hair doesn't have any green specks in it like the first one over here on my left hand side does. So that's another different part. And as you can see the chest actually has like as where this has like some texture to it. This one is just all smooth and actually have some dimples for the nipples as to where this one is nippleless. 
it is the same arm, but like I said, you do get two closed fists on the hands. So both fists are closed as to where we had one open one. Then from this, yeah, from all this middle part from his legs right down, all the way down, are actually new pieces up until his feet. Then his feet become reused pieces. So that is the differences between the Hulk, the two Hulks. Um, his articulation, his head is on a ball joint, which doesn't have a lot of play. There's not a lot of movement down. There's not a lot of movement down or back. He does have the side to side and some tilt in there. He does have this upper ball jointed chest piece here. The way I'm looking at it, it almost looks like it could be a build a figure the same way the Hulkbuster's uh, chest is built. Even that little eye beam in the middle seems to be the same kind of thing. But he does have some good crunch forward and he does have a little bit of back play. When you go back though, it does leave a, a bit of a gap in his, in his chest there. Uh, the first one had a little bit of a gap, not quite as much though. And I think he has the ball jointed shoulders, complete 360, it goes up really far. Well, uh, swivel biceps there, uh, double jointed elbows, and he does have a, a swivel and a hinge. Uh, no waist swivel, but he does do the splits. He can kick forward and he can not kick backwards, the buttocks gets in the way. So there's no real movement backwards at all. Depending the way you twist it. Upper thigh swivel, double hinged knees. Uh, and then he also has an ankle tilt and pivot. With two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And that is the new mold we get from the Age of Ultron Hulk. Thanos build a figure wave. So a slight improvement with some minor setbacks just with the texture, the, the chest, the chest and the abdomen seem to be, it, it, you can tell it's a different figure altogether. So I did just find my uh, Green Goblin and it's the same chest mold as the first Avengers Hulk there that we had. So yeah, this is a completely new mold using uh, just just for the Hulk, just for the new Ultron Hulk. Uh, whether we get a new Hulk anytime soon um, may not be needed for a little while. We 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 don't have a standalone Hulk movie yet, so until then, I don't I don't think we may we may not see another Hulk for a little while. I do have a few other Hulks here. To show off. Why not throw in his cousin here? Here is a She-Hulk. Then everybody's favorite Hulk, the Face-Off Hulk from the Toy Biz days. Uh, I have quite a few Hulks here. Let me back everybody up. I have quite a few Hulks, and my uh, original Marvel Legends Hulk, <laughs> his uh, neck has snapped off and his head is in the bin somewhere. Uh, it's a shame. It's the non-bendable fingers version, just a single hinge. Um, but this, <laughs> this toy was uh, ahead of its time at the time. There's no uh, ball-jointed hips or anything like that, but... Again, for posability at the time, look at ankle tilt way back then. And uh, DC can't even get, can't even match that. So, and look at these nice shoulder joints, like shoulder movements. 
pretty neat for a figure back then. We don't even get that nowadays. But uh, those are all the different Hulks. This is the Marvel Select Hulk, different line altogether. That's why he's so big. Uh, but I, I like this figure. It is an, a slight improvement, but a slight setback just because of the, I think, the torso. If they could have given us, I would have been happy if they could have just given us the same torso with a different head and the different pants. I would have liked it. The pants are all torn up on this one as to where they're not. Like, I would have just, I don't know why they gave us a different chest altogether. But, uh... I'm liking this Hulk a little bit better, but I, I can't stop looking at it. He has the muscle definition, and this just looks like a uh, cell-shaded video game type of chest compared to the actual definition of a real chest there. But you got to measure him out here. He does stand at a good eight inches tall, which which is a nice size for a Hulk. Let's just give him a quick comparison to the other one. I'm sure, yeah, they're they're going to stand roughly the same tall, same height. They uh, equal roughly three quarters of the same figure, so shouldn't be too much of a difference there. So that is my review of the Hulk from the Avengers: Age of Ultron, Marvel Legends Infinite Series, Thanos Build a Figure Wave. It's becoming a mouthful, but uh, hope you guys enjoy the play. Hey Tony, just the man I want to see. You got that Hulkbuster suit ready to go in case the Hulk really unleashes here in New York City? Or the rest of the world for that matter? Sure thing, Nick. With my superior intellect, there's no way the Hulk would be able to stop anything that Iron Man throws at him. Oh, that's really good to hear. He's totally standing right behind me, isn't he? Hmm, this definitely feels big. It definitely feels green. It definitely feels hulkish. <laughs> yeah, real funny, Nick. <laughs>